Hi, I'm Kate. Sex and Resistance to Me is about the inequalities that women and all LGBTQ people have faced throughout history and how we must resist against the stereotypes and racism that have been put on us in order to get equality for everyone. Now that I have completed this course, I know more about just how terrible women have been treated throughout history just because of the fact that they are women. We read stories like Arabian Nights where a woman knows that the king just wants her for her body and then plans to kill her, so she uses her knowledge to outsmart the king. She says, what is this compared with what I shall tell, you, shall, shall tell you tomorrow night if the king spares me and lets me live? It will be even better and more entertaining. The king thought to himself, I will spare her until I hear the rest of the story. Then I will have her put to death the next day. I think we can also use our knowledge from this class to be like the woman from the story and stand up to the inequalities that we face. I know for me, I am more prepared to have these hard but important conversations with people who don't necessarily agree with me. Another part of sex and resistance is that it is a global movement. Part of our event for reproductive justice dealt with the global perspective and how it differs from the United States. In chapter six, listen from peers in other countries of on tyranny, Snyder states, so, have a pass so having a passport is not a sign of surrender. On the contrary, it is liberating since it creates the possibility of new experiences. It allows us to see how others, sometimes wiser than we, react to similar problems. Since so much of what is happening now is familiar to the rest of the world or from recent histo history, we must observe and listen. We cannot just be focused on what is happening in our country. It is also our responsibility to help other women and LGBTQ people with obtaining their equality as well. It has been hard for me to find the courage to speak up sometimes when I've been conditioned throughout my childhood to believe that women do not have many rights. For me, learning about why it is so important to speak up makes it a little bit easier. Finally, I believe that sex and resistance movement also deals with how politicians treat women. We saw in Bad Feminist the alienable rights of women that, whenever governments want to achieve some end, often involving population growth, they restricted access to birth control and or criminalized birth controls, unless of course the population growth concerned the poor, in which case contraception was enthusiastically promoted. Historically, society has only wanted the right kind of people to have right to to life. We shouldn't forget that fact. Here's the thing about history. It repeats itself over and over and over. The witch hunts and the demonization of contraception and abortion and the women who have provided these services from the 14th and 15th centuries are happening all over again. We need to pay attention to the politicians who continue to try and take away women's rights and try to vote for people who support women's rights. I know for me the biggest thing that I took away from this was just how important it is to vote. During the next month, I plan on being more active in my community, as hard as that is during this COVID period. I also plan on donating to organizations like Planned Parenthood, because after the semester, I have learned just how important they are to women. Also, extremist politicians are trying to block people from accessing care at Planned Parenthood health centers. The most important thing I have learned from this semester is getting informed and involved with movements that will impact our basic rights. This is not just something we can stand aside on and let others do for us. Using our right to vote and protest is how we can make change in this crazy and ever-changing society. I hope others will see the importance as well.